executive director of the Greater Austin County Way. We cover uh, 10 counties and partner with 20 local nonprofits. 19 are located here, headquartered in Lance County or Valdosta. Uh, speaking on behalf of the Haven and also the CAC and, the, and CASA that will see cuts across the state, but really all the agencies that have stepped up that fed, clothed, and sheltered people throughout the pandemic. They need y'all support if there's funds available, if y'all look at y'all's retreat coming up to see what's available, to just say thank you and support these programs. Like I said, it's been two years of fundraisers being cut. We try to support the best we can with the United Way and funds, but there's no way local donors, local businesses can clear some of these gaps of what these agencies have dealt with and their increased demand and expenses that they've seen. And the ones that help with disabled uh, people, and like I said, feed, clothes, and shelter, and help with abuse, have stepped up. And the agencies are tired. This, they're, they're dealing with staffing issues, they're dealing with mental strain, compassion fatigue, of working 24-7, round the clock, through COVID, and helping people recover of our most vulnerable people. So please think about that. If there's funds available as, as a way to uh, help people out, I'd be happy to go in more detail with what we know of our agency partners, but there's a lot of good people working hard, and we're very fortunate to have them in our human service sector. Michael, thank you, and then the congratulations on pulling a million dollars out of the community for those needs during the time of COVID as well, so well done. Thank you, we have very caring people. Thank you. Any other citizens to be heard? We should allow Jesus because we're coming up. <laughs> All right, city managers report. 